Hello and welcome to the 16th video programming a chess engine in JavaScript. So in this video we're just going to add a couple of little functions uh, inside. We, last video we had this update list material. We're going to clear off the console line here because we don't need it anymore and we're actually going to add in a function above update list material which allows us to print the piece list with a piece character and the actual square al algebraically so as in A8, H8, A1 or E5 or something like this. To do this we need a function that prints a square and I've added a new file called io for inout.js to our JavaScript folder and inside index.html I'm just going to add in the include below defs.js uh, like so and in io.js we can start actually writing quickly a function to print a square or return a square string to be able to then print it to the console and it's not very difficult obviously and we can just put a return statement straight away in there and we can simply say that we're going to have remember we have our file car array and we have our rank car array in this way I'll just put some brackets around these as well thank you for telling me it's unmatched and inside here obviously what we need then is the actual file and rank from the square which we have with our files board square and we have with our ranks board square in this way. So that's the print square function written to return our A3 or whatever, something like this. And now in board.js, above update lists material, just want to add in the function to print the piece lists a little more readably to the screen. So we'll call it print piece lists and it's really simple all we're going to do is loop through every piece type so I have piece and we'll have piece num and we're just going to then make a for loop it loops through every piece type so we'll say pieces dot white pawn and we'll say that the piece then my goodness piece is less than or equal to pieces dot black king and plus plus piece and then an inner loop here we just want to for each of the piece type loop through the number of pieces so every one of those pieces that particular type we have so we'll just say that piece num is equal to naught and piece num and here's at zero index then is less than game board and the piece num open and close brackets for our piece type and plus plus piece num and then here we need simply need now to log to the console and we'll say piece and we need the piece character which is piece car I think in this way from defs with a small h my goodness I've typed piece incorrectly about 10 times now plus and then we just want the square so we'll say on and then we'll use our new function print square and close the bracket. So the piece square itself remember we're going to leverage our, our uh, piece index function that we wrote in the last video so we're just going to say gameboard.plist and then we'll use oops that's an array isn't it then we'll use our piece index like so and that was then the piece and the piece number as well. Okay, so now that's saved, just need to call up the browser here and refresh. And it's got an expected token. If I put a colon on 98 instead of yes, I have instead of a semicolon. I just refresh again. Okay. And nothing's appeared. Ah, I haven't actually put the function inside the at the bottom of update list material. Save again and go back to the browser and refresh. Okay, so what we have now in the browser then is an it call made in it and now we have the piece list printed here. A2, B2, C2, pawns, bishop, C1, F1 and so on and everything looks okay. So we'll be making use of this function a little bit in the future when we're setting up different positions for some debugging to check that everything's okay. 
Good, so that's it then for this video. The next video, we're going to start making our first steps into moving, uh, making, generating moves for the chess engine, looking at detecting how whether squares are attacked by a certain side or not. So thanks very much for watching. Comments, questions, criticisms, welcomes always on YouTube.